Although Arabic is not the easiest language to learn, some celebrities have made an effort to learn some aspects of it, and some have learned it entirely. Yeah, they've surprisingly succeeded in learning Arabic. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another FTD Facts episode. My name is Leroy Kenton, and for this one, I thought it would be pretty interesting to look at celebrities, 10 of them, that surprisingly speak Arabic. And some of these people, it's gonna blow your mind. All right, let's jump into this list. Starting at number 10, B.I.G. Boys and Groove are commonly known as B.I.G. They are a Korean pop group who have taken lessons in the Arabic language. They have even performed some covers of songs in the Arabic language. When the band traveled to the United Arab Emirates, where K-pop has a very large fan base, well, they were really happy to finally be able to meet their fans in person. Now, one of the band members, Benji, who also served as a translator for the group, he said this in his own words, and I quote, during the concert, we really felt the love and support. They really screamed our names and gave us so much energy that we were blown away by the reception here. The celebrity coming in at number nine is Mina Masood. He's very famous for playing the main character in the Disney movie Aladdin. Yes, he played Aladdin in Aladdin. Mina Masood, he proves that he was definitely a good choice for the movie because not only does he look Arab, but he can also speak Arabic. Although we never really heard any Arabic being spoken by him in the film Aladdin. Either way though, Mina is from an Egyptian family and he stated in interviews that he grew up in Canada, but he was taught how to speak Arabic at home. Mina even did interviews in Arabic to promote the movie Aladdin. And doing this, of course, helped him connect with Arabic speaking fans. Another surprising entry on this list is BTS. Yeah, BTS, the South Korean pop group sensation. Of course, they became the first international group to perform at a solo stadium concert in Saudi Arabia. The concert had officially kicked off Riyadh season with over 60,000 people filling King Fahd International Stadium to see BTS perform. Now, BTS showed their appreciation for the devoted Saudi Arabian fans by greeting and thanking them in Arabic. One of the members, Jim Mim, his birthday was also celebrated on stage with the members singing happy birthday to him in Arabic. Number seven, Rami Malek. Not necessarily a big surprise for me, but I could see how it would be a big surprise for many people that he actually speaks Arabic because he was born in Los Angeles, California, and he was born to Egyptian immigrant parents who immigrated to the United States back in 1978. Until the age of four, he grew up speaking colloquial Egyptian Arabic at home. Although he is no longer fluent in Arabic, his 2019 Oscars were not the first time that the actor actually practiced his Arabic speaking skills publicly. An old BBC Arabic interview with Hossam Sami Asi and Rami Malek also went completely viral as he spoke in his parents' native language, which he amused fans with, especially when he used like Americanized pronunciations of certain words. Number six leads us to the man who screams his name on most of the tracks that he's on, DJ Khaled. Khaled Mohammed Khaled, better known as DJ Khaled, is an American music artist and producer. In case you didn't know, now you know. DJ Khaled, he speaks several languages in addition to English, which is his official and primary language. And DJ Khaled was born in the United States, and of course, that's where he was raised. His family immigrated from Palestine to the United States, and he learned Arabic from his family, although it was Palestinian Arabic, which differs slightly from standard Arabic. As he grew older, he learned other languages like French, Spanish, and uh, Italian. Number five leads us to Demi from Dreamcatcher. This is another Korean pop idol who most people had no idea spoke Arabic. This was confirmed when a presenter asked the girl group to answer in English, Arabic, or Spanish how they felt about wrapping up their world tour back in 2018. And Demi had said this, it was nice to meet you, see you again, thank you, demonstrating her Spanish and Arabic language skills. 
The celebrity coming at number four is Mojo Rawley. The American professional wrestler Mojo Rawley's real name is actually Dean Mutadi. Other than wrestling, he also does acting and he's a former professional American football player. His father is Palestinian and his mother is half Syrian and he has extended family in Jordan and Saudi Arabia as well as throughout different parts of the Middle East on his father's side. His family background is the reason why he speaks Arabic. Back in the year 2016, he gave a pre-match speech in full Arabic. Also one time he was in Saudi Arabia and he made a video in Arabic about his experience over there. Next up at number three, we have the WWE star Remy Sibe. Remy Sibe is known as Sami Zayn and he is a Syrian Muslim who fluently speaks Arabic. Remy Sibe, he was born and raised in the province of Quebec in Canada and he essentially portrays a caricature of himself in the wrestling ring and he refuses to let his race and his religion or any other stereotype define him in the eyes of other people. He's just like unapologetically himself. He embraces it and he owns it. Coming in at number two, we have Salma Hayek. She has had a strong connection to her Arab roots since she was a child. Despite the fact that she grew up in Mexico, far from Lebanon, from where her family had fled years before, her father and grandparents never let her forget where they actually came from. When speaking about her upbringing with Arab news, Salma Hayek had this to say, and I quote, I was raised and educated as all Lebanese are. We are raised in such a way that when we meet a Lebanese person in life, we immediately come together. You have to understand, I'm Mexican Arab in America. It's a tough one. I'm not British. I'm not Spanish. I'm Mexican Arab. We end this episode off at number one, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan revealed that she has been studying the Quran and it appears that her interest in Islam has really changed over the years. A short video of the actress speaking outside of a Greek club went viral thanks to her very different sounding accent that people were hearing from her. The Middle Eastern twang, it really piqued people's interest and uh, actually Lindsay Lohan had revealed the reason behind her unique twang to her voice and she says this, it's a mixture of most of the languages I can understand or I'm trying to learn. I've been learning different languages since I was a child. I'm fluent in English and French, can understand Russian, and I'm learning Turkish, Italian, and Arabic. There you go, guys. That is it for this episode on 10 celebrities that surprisingly speak Arabic. Let me know down below in the comment section which of these celebrities came as a surprise, which of them were like, oh yeah, clearly they spoke Arabic. <laughs> Let me know down below in the comment section. If you did enjoy this one, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. Until next time, guys, stay awesome, stay educated, and stay beautiful. I'll see you guys soon. Later.